the two brothers that spoke against Prophet T.B. Joshua came here. They were the ones that started all terrible things you are talking about here. They went to members asking them for money, asking for this, doing this and doing that. Polluted other workers to rise against the ministry. We are glad to have you here, sons and daughters of God. Today is about these two brothers, of which their faces would definitely be familiar with us because of the viral video on the BBC platform. When God himself led me out of the Synagogue Church of All Nations by grace, these same blasphemers decided to send their own representatives to the church here. And they came with their evil plan. The two brothers that spoke against Prophet T.B. Joshua came here. They were the ones that started all terrible things you are talking about here. They went to members asking them for money, asking for this, doing this and doing that. Polluted other workers to rise against the ministry. And even caused some of my members to be saying, come, we want to have meetings so we can, you can dialogue with your workers. I looked at some people. I said, do you know the spirit of God that called me? These people came for help. And they're calling me to come down and have meetings with people that need my help. It's an insult. If you are here to be helped, you take the step of obedience. What step? Can I hear you? You don't need to start insulting people. I need help. No. If you want to be helped here, what step are you supposed to take? The step of what? Obedience. Simple. Step of holiness, sincerity, obedience, self-control, and the like. Just display the fruits of the Spirit of God. You don't need to tell me, God who called you, who invited you to come here, will inform me. Those two brothers that left, that went on air to speak against Prophet TV Joshua, still have your contacts. How many times have you given them money? And what is your conscience telling you now? And how many of them like that, that lied and said terrible things against this ministry that you yourself believed? Who is now a liar? Who is now a liar? Who is now a betrayer? If you come to this place to incite me, to try to incite me to work against my master, and you say that you can never try that, you must go. You must do what? What you plant is what you will reap. When they, were, when they were talking and rumoring all kind of evil against me, how many of you stood up to say, this man is not like that. At least you know my encounter with you personally. How many of you? How many of you were able to stand to defend the truth? Why did you not do that? How many of you spoke out? God said, I have found David, a man after my own heart. For he would do anything that I've commanded him to do. Are you not looking at it? Prophet T.B. Joshua did not make a mistake by raising a wise man. They came here when I was still building. They never even knew I had a place like this. They were inciting every member of the church not even to support. Nothing they did not say just to discourage people from helping this young ministry. Nothing they did not do. No evil names they did not call the minister of God here. They even had contacts and WhatsApp groups. And they had agents to be taking note of people that come newly, newcomers. Just to inside them to work against the ministry so that this ministry would not be built. God told me, the grace to build this ministry is not in anybody here. I will provide. On this particular video posted on the BBC platform, it's like taking someone to the slaughterhouse. I can only say the BBC gave them what they have been looking for, a platform to slander, a time of fame that they can slaughter. This battle is not physical but spiritual. These two brothers had their time to come up 
with gross negative statement. I know when I talked of gross. You know, a gross means they were not just facing individuals. You know, when someone come up with a statement, he never loved anyone. He never loved people. <laughs> oh, God. He never cared for anyone. He never cared for people. This is a generous statement. It's not linking to an individual. And the thing is, there are people that will believe even upon all what you have seen. And someone will still come up to say that man of God love anything that deals with camera. He, he was, because this was like his evidence. This was like his evidence. Now, even if you're pulling all those words and pouring it out that he has never cared for anyone, he has never loved, those videos are there. On YouTube, they are there, except for those that don't want to see. It's like how the, the, our generation has, has, is using video as their own evidence. They are using, even if someone wants to do something to you, just pick up your phone and videotape. And as they are looking at that phone, they are knowing that they are taking records of what they are doing. He knew that one day you will rise up against him. One day it would be as if he has done nothing. You would tarnish every record. What more can we say? Now hear the man of God, wise man Christopher. He said the same accusers, the same blasphemers, the same slanders, they came for him. And they were not even aware that he has built something. They were going around. At that time, his ministry was very young and they had to set up a church. They were going around having private meetings with the believers, with Christians, taking their personal contact. Can you imagine? And they are communicating with them privately without the man of God knowing this and discouraging the members from supporting the construction project that was going on at that moment. And they were coming up with type of lies, different kinds of lies. They were coming up with different stories. Just to tarnish the image of the man of God. Even including Prophet T.B. Joshua, that he was not there at that moment. He was not there at that time. The Bible says, by their fruits, we shall know them. By their fruits, we will know them. They are the same everywhere. This is who they are. They are the same everywhere. In the north, they are the same. In the south, they are the same. In the east, west, central, they are the same. They cannot come to you, even if they want to pretend or pretend just for a short season. And the real true colors of who they are, who portray, because that is who they are. We call it a vagabond spirit. We call it a vagabond spirit. It's not only taking hold of the individual themselves, but it's polluting their environment. There's no way that you can cultivate a negative environment around you and your life will reap a good fruit. There's no way. The enemy himself knows that the only way to destroy your life is to pollute those things around you from yourself. It begins from within and goes around. And now we can see it's not just like an enemy to those that they are speaking against. No, they are enemies to themselves. 
They are enemies to their own very life. They are enemies to their soul. They are enemies to their family around. For this is the handiwork of the devil. Now hear what the man of God, wise man, Christopher said. He said they will go around taking personal contacts of members in the church and asking them for donation. So then this character is upright. And asking Christians to donate, to send money directly to them. And this was the same case. This was her case. This law had this same case. Remember of the man from the U.S. He said the same thing. For we should know as body of Christ. They are not enemies to the ones that they are speaking against. They are enemies to, the very, to their own very self. It's a spirit that is against yours, your very own growth. It's not about those that they are speaking against because they will always have their way to flourish. When the Lord has blessed you, He has blessed you. He said, Who is He to declare a thing? And it come to pass that the Lord has not commanded. Who is He? Slanderous tongues, vacabond spirit. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as a way to support the channel. We are grateful for all your efforts.